Hello guys, this is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss another interview question and it is related to role hierarchy. We might have discussed this role hierarchy in last couple tutorials, but in this tutorial, we are going to go ahead and look it up in more detail. So when OWD is set to private, how you are going to open up the access? So if you remember the diagram that we talked earlier, we, we had this V diagram and uh, in this V diagram at the bottom of this diagram and this way you open up the access. Okay. So at the bottom we had was OWD. It is used to restrict the access. Then above the OWD we had was the roles and above the roles we had was sharing rule and above the sharing rule we had was manual sharing. So this way if you go like this then it is used to open up the access. So once the OWD is private you can open up the access using the role hierarchy. So what do I mean by that is so let's say here this is the role hierarchy that you see. So we have sales manager west and sales manager east and they are under the sales director and managing director is above the sales director and marketing head. So if the OWD is private, then what happens is only the record owner and the user above in the role hierarchy will be able to access those records. So in this case, sales director will be able to access the records created by sales manager West and the sales manager East because he's above in the role hierarchy. Similarly, the marketing head will be able to access the records created by the executives because he is above in the role hierarchy. And managing director will be able to access the records which are accessed, can be accessed by sales director as well as marketing head because managing director is way above in the role hierarchy. So according to the role hierarchy, Salesforce allow us to control the record access and the organization reports using the role. Through the role, you can control the record level access. So which records are accessible to which users that can be controlled through the role. Now users who are above in the role hierarchy will be able to see the records of the people who are below them. But the user who share the same role or who are at the same level will not be able to access each other records. So in our example, the sales director and the marketing, marketing head will not be able to see each other record because they are at the same level. But sales director will be able to see the records which are created by sales manager West and the sales manager East because those are below their sales director. So how we are going to do that? So in order to give the access to the people to, at a particular role or subordinate or something, then in that case, we are going to go ahead and use the sharing rule. We'll create the sharing rule in which we will open up the access to the records to a particular group of users or to a particular role or to a particular role in subordinate, etc. So that is what the sharing rule is for. The role hierarchy is tells you user who are above in the role hierarchy will be able to see the records of the people below them role hierarchy is used to give the record level access to the users and this role hierarchy comes into picture when OWD is set to private and you want to open up the access to other individuals or other users.